Hello, all my dear students. It's great to see you all back into your classrooms. And you're so excited to be sitting along with your friends, sharing the same bench, and listening to the lectures of your teachers, your favorite teachers in the classroom. Amazing to have this experience back, isn't it? I can very well understand and relate to the situation you were in, in the last two years when you were learning online, though it was at the comfort of your home. But somewhere from within you would have felt you're missing something, isn't it? But talking about your teachers, your teachers did their best. They left no stone unturned to give you the best learning experience. Remember, it was new for them too. But they took that extra effort, they researched a lot, they discussed a lot among themselves and for what did they do that? So that you get the best content on the screen, you get the best learning experience on the screen while you were learning at home. So this deserves a great round of applause. So let's appreciate the effort of all your teachers, let's applaud for them. With my experience of 22 years in the field of education, from being a passionate mathematics teacher, which I still am, to being a teacher trainer, to being a academician, one thing I've realized, and it is also supported and seconded by many of my colleagues, many of the teachers whom I talk to, at times when I've spoken to students, that there is a gap. There is a gap in the teaching learning process in the last two years when the teaching and the learning was happening online. And I'll start thinking, what is that gap? Is there a gap? Is it much? Now, why that gap? Let's understand that. Your teachers always did their best. They gave you the best learning possible. They gave you the best understanding possible. But, khud se pucho. Khud ke dil se pucho ek question. Mujhe answer mat karna, khud ko answer karna. Did we learn with the same intensity while we were learning at home? Did we write those things? We understood, but did we write? Because we know one thing. When we write, those things get registered in our long-term memory. So, this is why school a teacher a concept in school and she says, okay, this concept was taught to you in the last year. You learned it last year. You start thinking, what did we study? That is the gap I am seeing. That is where I am saying, Matlab, koi to gap hai. Chahe wo chota ho ya bada ho. Now that is what we have realized that there is a gap. Now the question is, how do we fill this gap? How do we bridge this gap? Let's discuss. Ek cheez to hai. Hum ye samaj gaye ki hume gap fill karna hai. Gap fill karna hai matlab hume extra efforts lene padenge. Now the moment we say extra efforts, that means you will say, sir, we would require extra guidance. We would require extra support. That means that's an important thing that we have realized and we have understood that we would require extra support and extra guidance. I have a question to you. Mere ek sawal hai aapse. Aap sab ka school mein sabse important aim kya hai? Obviously, I'm talking about studies. Padhai ki baat kar raha hai. Aap bologe, sir, mujhe achhe marks lane hai. Chai wo unit test ho, chai wo class test ho, chai wo semester ho, chai wo terminal zone. Now, what I feel and understand is that for this, there are three things which are very, very, very crucial and they're very important. Number one, learning and understanding. Number two, revision. And number three, the most important one that is writing practice. Now let's discuss the first point, learning and understanding. Now you will say, who will do this? Obviously, your school teachers. They have been doing it and they will always keep on doing it in the best possible way. And remember, this is the most important role that your school teachers play. So you say, the first point is taken care. Second, revision. As we discussed, we have also discussed that you will have to take extra efforts. Extra efforts lene honge matlab sif school mein learning and understanding karne se nahi hoga. Ghar pe ja ke bhi karna hoga. But can your school teacher come with each one of you at your home, sit with you, make you recap 
and revise the concept? Tell me. Not possible. Not at all. Practically not possible. But you will say, if someone is like that, it will be very good. My revision will be very good with the teacher. Ke that means what we are discussing is a two-teacher concept. One, school teacher who is teaching you in the classroom. And second, a revision teacher who will help you recap and revise when you're learning at home. So we are talking about a two-teacher concept. Number one, your school teacher who is helping you learn and understand at school. Number two, your revision teacher who will help you recap and revise at home. But the question is, ye revision teacher kaun hai? Mujhe revision kaise karwaega? Aur kaun karwaega? Okay, so that's one question you have. So the third and the most important point is writing practice. It is very crucial because if we don't do writing practice, we will not get the things registered in our permanent memory. So that's another thing which we are looking at. How do we do writing practice? With all this in mind, we have curated a solution for you and that's QR book. Let's see the QR book. Yes, that's the index. This helps you to understand the topics within the book. Now let's see a chapter. For presenting a chapter, we discussed a lot, we thought a lot and we debated too and see what we have. We have taken a concept followed by sums in mathematics and q and in other subjects. And that too, the order of the sums, order of the q and is from simple too complex but you will be thinking why so QSA because once we learn a concept it's easy to answer the questions based on that concept and while doing so we not only learn and master the concept but also learn and master the application of the concept this helps in systematic learning and understanding now this remains the same throughout the topic let me tell you, not only the topic, it remains the same throughout the entire QR book. What we see is a QR code beside each concept and beside each Q&A. QR code, we are so familiar with it. Let's scan a QR code beside a concept. Wow, we see a teacher explaining and revising a concept for us. This is a five centimeter from this point. Can we take a point? Yes, one point. Can you take one more? Yes. Can we take one more? Yes. Can we have another? Yes. Can we have another? Yes. Can we have one more? Can we have one more? Now the question is how many more? You will say we can have infinite number of points which are all at a distance of five centimeter from this point. Now let's scan a QR code beside a QA. External point is Q. So now we can see PQ is a tangent to the circle at P. That means remember that P is the point of contact and O is the center. It says the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters. So radius means with segment here. Yes, you're very correct. It is OP. So we write the OP is 5 centimeters. The way we saw for maths, let's see a concept and a Q&A for science. We are ready to understand Newton's second law of motion. So let us take an example once again. Let us say a cyclist right now is at point A and he wants to reach point B. Let us see how much time will this bicycle take to reach from point A to point B. Let us start its motion. Now if you see in the clock, it takes 5 seconds to reach from point A to point B. A tennis ball and if the batsman hits the ball towards me, 
it is actually very easy to catch a tennis ball. Why? Because the mass of this tennis ball is actually very less. But if we actually play with a leather ball, and if the leather ball comes with the same velocity, we know it is slightly difficult to catch a leather ball. Simply because the mass of this leather ball is very high as compared to the tennis ball. So here you see the mass of the tennis ball is less, mass of the leather ball is more. That's really great. Here a teacher explains the application of the concept, helps us to learn, helps us to understand and also eventually helps us to write the answers step by step in a systematic manner. Research of Cuban in the year 2001 indicates that people generally remember 10% of what they read, 20% of what they hear, 30% of what they see and 50% of what they hear and see. And that's what's happening via video. Because via video, you are seeing and hearing at the same time. So you will be able to retain 50% of the content from the video. Isn't that great? That's a good percentage. मतलब एक बात तो clear हो गई हमारा revision at home is taken care and that too हमारे revision teacher के साथ अब question है writing practice का क्या you might have observed for every Q&A there are a lot of blank lines given yes it is so that we understand and write the answers then and there itself मतलब खुद के handwriting में खुद का notes ready As per this article, a study of Japanese university students and recent graduates has revealed that writing on a physical paper can lead to more brain activity when remembering the information an hour later. Now from this we understand a simple fact that the activity of writing that too on a physical paper like we students are going to write on a physical paper in QR book. So this activity activates your brain better and eventually helps in better retention. And again, the research of Cuban 2001 says people generally remember 90% of what they say as they do a thing. Now here when we are speaking, we are speaking about the activity of writing. So that's the activity which you are doing. While you are doing this activity of writing, my dear kids, if you can say the same thing, say the same answer, say the same point, say the same words, your retention would be 90%. That's an amazing percentage of retention, isn't it? This will surely help you with your writing practice, improving your paper presentation and also your speed too. And all these three aspects are very, very, very important for you to do well in your examination. Let me tell you one more important aspect about this book. This book is completely curriculum based. It completely covers your curriculum. This means that your textbook ke har ek concept, your textbook ka har ek sum, your textbook ka har ek Q&A is book mein covered. Hai. And in fact, usse zyada. So with this book, learning and understanding taken care, revision taken care. Writing practice, of course, yes. Up to achhe marks aayenge na? Yes, aana hi aana hai. Let's discuss a scenario. Let's say that you had to miss your school for two days because of some emergency or maybe because of some family function. Now, when you're there in the class on the third day attending a mathematics lecture, your teacher is teaching, tell me, will you be able to connect or understand the concept which is she is teaching, the content which she is teaching, maybe at times not completely. You'll say, I'm not with the class, you're not happy on that day. But let me tell you, with QR book, this problem is going to be taken care. Let's see how. Now, those two days when you were absent and on the way back, you can just call your friend, ask, अरे टीचर ने इन दो दिनों में मैथमेटिक्स में क्या सिखाया? तो योर फ्रेंड विल से शी टॉट दिस टू कॉन्सेप्ट्स व्हिच इज़ देर ऑन पेज नंबर सो एंड सो इन द क्यूआर बुक एंड शी आल्सो टॉट टू सम्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट ऑन सो एंड सो पेज 
So what you can do is just take up your QR book, scan that QR code and understand that concept, understand that sum. This would just take 15 to 20 minutes of your time. Now imagine when you're there in the lecture on the third day attending that mathematics class, what happens? You'll say, wow, I am with the class. I am understanding everything. You will have a feeling. Was I ever absent for those two days? That doesn't mean that you're going to frequently remain absent. This is just a benefit. This is just an advantage you have in case of an emergency. There is one more benefit of this book. Let me tell you that. Let's say you have a physics lecture tomorrow. Your science teacher is going to take a physics topic that is light in the classroom. So you can go home today, open up your science QR book, open up the chapter light and scan the QR codes of the initial concepts of light. Get yourself prepared, which will again take just 10 to 15 minutes. Now, when you are sitting for your lectures on the next day, that is tomorrow, you are involved in a discussion with the teacher. You are able to answer the questions asked by the teacher. You know what, your teacher would also be very happy because there is no one way interaction happening. And you are also excited, you are answering, you are involved. So understand the entire teaching learning experience, the entire teaching learning environment in the class is going to be so beautiful. Your teacher would love it and you too would love it. And if you frequently keep on doing this, you will eventually become a self-learner, a new age learner. As I discussed in my conversation at the start that I'm a mathematics teacher. So basically I deal with formulas, theorems, axioms, properties. So let me ask you a question. What is the formula to become a self-learner, to become a new age learner? What's your answer? Your answer is QR book. Yes, dear child, that's the answer. Once we have learned a formula, we always apply it in the sums. Same way here, you have learned the formula, understood the formula for becoming a new age learner. So apply it by experiencing it with the help of QR book. So all the best to all my dear students here. Have a great learning experience with QR book.